How's it going students? Welcome to Mr. Jaw's Real Quick Science videos where I cover science topics in a short amount of time. Let's get started. In this quick video, I wanted to talk about some differences between ionic and covalent bonds. So the first thing is ionic bonds. Ionic bonds have a high melting point and a high boiling point. So if you're analyzing data and you're looking at a high number then you're dealing with an ionic bond. Now, another property of ionic bonds is they are conductive in solution. So if you put a substance in water and you try to complete a circuit, it is actually going to allow electricity to flow through it. So those are some basic properties of ionic bonds. Now, the next thing, covalent bonds. Covalent bonds actually have a low melting point and a low boiling point. Now, this makes sense. Think about what kind of elements bond using the covalent bond. These are typically nonmetals. Nonmetals, when you think about them, they are gases and other brittle substances. substances. So they actually have low melting points just as elements. And they also are not conductive in solution. So if you put a substance that is held together by the covalent bond, it will not allow electricity to flow through it. 